In this session, we'll be discussing about key, the fifth taxonomic aids. When we have talked about herbarium, botanical garden, museum, or anything like that, say zoological parks, those were the places where you go and see stuffs. Now, key is something like which you cannot see, which you cannot feel about. Key are analytical in nature. Very important thing which I mentioned is they are analytical in nature. Now, analytic is something like mathematical concepts. When you say x is equal to 5, can you see it? You cannot see it. You cannot feel it. So it's something like key that is analytic in nature, which you cannot see, you cannot feel, but you can talk about it. Keys are basically based on similarities and dissimilarities. We feel out the similarities and dissimilarities and start grouping the organisms into taxonomy. Now, based upon the set of the contrasting character, they remain in a pair which is called couplet. And each statement of the couplet is called lead. So, you should know about these three statements. First of all, what is key? Thereafter, what is couplet and what is lead? You remember one very important thing key are analytical nature. So, they can ask you, they can give you five taxonomic aids, would ask you which among the following taxonomic aid is analytic in nature. Your answer comes as key. Now, I've showed, I've tried showing one of the keys, like how you make key is like, let's suppose you have animals, the animals can be red blooded, could be non red blooded. If it is red blooded, animals can be mammals, lizard, bird, fish, we can talk about both of them are animals. So you talked about similarities. If you can talk about one has red blood, one has no red blood. So we talked about the similarities. So key is a set of similarities and dissimilarities. Once it is non red blood, it can be hard body, it can be soft body. If it is hard body, it can be insect. If it is soft body, again, it can be having the shell. It can be without shell. So it is like, you know, if it is having the shell, it can be shellfish. Or if it is not having the shell, it can be jellyfish. So what are you doing is like you are classifying the organisms based upon their similarities and dissimilarities and you are figuring out the differences. So this is all about key, which is actually analytic in nature. Next session, we'll be talking about some more details of some other taxonomic aids.